So we're going an updated review of the HMS Nelson. Um, uh, if you watched the last video, I said that once I figured out all the quirks to the ship and figured out how to play it, um, I was going to be giving another review on it um, because it is a high skill level to master. But once you do, you're going to be good to go. Um, so that being said, we'll, we'll do a quick look at her stats here. 59,000 hit points. Nine four uh, nine sixteen inch guns, or four hundred six millimeter firing range seventeen point six reload time twenty one seconds, chance to set fire forty six percent, and he shell damage six thousand nine hundred, and max AP shell damage thirteen thousand two hundred. Maneuverability uh, usually between twenty two and twenty three knots. Um, those are the stats for a fully leveled up Cunningham. We're close to leveled up. He's not legendary rank four, and I think he's uh, level 15. So, oh, hey. Let's do that. Let's waste one. All right, so we'll, we'll take her into battle here. <coughs> it is a fun ship to play, I'll give it that. It is, it is not, you know, um, a lot of people aren't gonna find it aesthetically pleasing. The reason is the ship was built after the London and Washington Naval Treaties, which restricted um, how big a battleship could be, how much, and they did it by weight, typically. And because the U.S. had some battleships that were of of 16-inch guns, and I believe Japan did too, um, Britain was allowed to build two new battleships. Um, according to the treaty, she had to get scrap a bunch of older World War One ships uh, in order to build these, to be allowed to build these two new ones, the Nelson and the Rodney. Um, in order to get her weight under the limit, they had to use this weird configuration of all guns forward. This is the first time it was ever done in history of doing this. Um, Richelieu, other stuff, they'll, they'll be based off of the Nelson design. Um, of all forward firing guns um, but these um, yeah in, in order to do get her weight under the uh, under the limit of the treaty they had to give her this kind of weird setup and that's why she's slower as well she couldn't have <laughs> basically uh, the the Washington Naval Treaty castrated navies is what it did. And so Nelson is a smaller battleship, even though it was built in 1925 to 1927. It's a smaller battleship. It does have a 16 inch guns, but it has a weaker armor in certain places and um, a lower speed because she does have a good bit of armor over the places she does have armor. With Nelson's armor, um, unlike the Richelieu and the other forward firing things, you can't go bow on to your enemies. The reason why is because Nelson has almost no bow armor. Her bow armor is 25 millimeters. Very, very low. She has great um, belt line armor. 350 millimeter belt armor, which is huge. Um, the problem, though, is that her citadel runs the entire length of the ship and is very high out of the water. So what does that mean? It's like, well, how do I position myself when I'm facing an enemy ship? The answer is you have to be really well angled. So if you'll notice how I'm forward like this, I can only fire two of my turrets this is a bad angle. What you want to do is get it to the point where you can fire right about here is the best angling for this ship. That'll keep her from getting through your bow armor. That'll keep her from them from citadeling you as well. Right where you can get that third turret to fire is her perfect angling point. But yeah, due to her um, her weird appearance, her nickname was the Nelson, as in like an oil tanker. All 
uh, because it it looked like an oil tanker to these Royal Navy sailors. We're used to seeing more conventional uh, type ships. I'm gonna go after New Mexico. Both those boys are tough. Our AP is gonna have trouble with them. Nelson and Colorado. So I've been down tier to play with tier fives. It looks like, which is good, because. Tier 7s can give you a lot of problems. My first match playing with this, I was detonated by an Iowa when I was bow on. And then my second match playing with it, I was detonated by the nice Ganassau um, when I was bow on to hurt too. So do not go bow on. It's a trick. It's a trap. The trick to playing Nelson in my opinion, is don't run forward, don't become, don't become everybody's target. I mean, that's, that's great advice for almost every ship in the game, but especially true with Nelson. Don't become the priority target, kind of hang with the rest of the fleet, um, and act as more of a support unit. Oh, they got Torps in the water, I'm going to try to turn away. I don't think I'm going to make it in time. I'll take this hit here. That's not good. Hold below the water line. That little bastard. And I'm gonna heal. Um, she has two massive heals. So if her armor is bad in a lot of places, what, what's the counter to that? It's this massive zombie heal. She has the British Super Duper Gooper heal. Not just the British Super heal. It's the Super Duper Gooper heal. It's way better than any other ship. Um, and so typically you're going to be able to reheal about 40% of your health each time. Um, Madden might be the go-to for it, you would think, because she'll give you four of these super heals. But I'm going with Cunningham. Cunningham, um, you know, he'll only give you those two of those heals, but it's going to increase the ability of her AP rounds because her AP rounds do struggle. Even though they're 16-inch guns, um, they're not anywhere near as good as the American 16-inch ones. They have much lower velocity. Torpedo beats! Yes, all right, I only took one hit, but it's a bad one. Taking on water quickly. Um, that little bitch, I wish he'd go away. So she's gonna have, because she has less, you know, velocity in a shorter fuse time, um, she is going to do better at fighting cruisers. She's not going to overpin as much. Then, then she's going to damage other battleships with AP rounds. The other very, very viable strategy, because the nice thing about Nelson is it's able to do both. Um, Nelson is going to be able to be used as a fire starter, and I mean the equivalent of a King George, right? In that in that area, um, it's going to be very similar fire starting capability. She's got nine guns, 46% chance to set fire. Um, so she would, I, 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 she might even be a better platform for it. Okay, now we got to worry about storage. So I'm going to switch to AT shells, and. Uh, Gonna request support. Hopefully, we can get an eye over here, um, a destroyer of some kind, to uh, spot this little bastard for us. Um, she's got 6,900 max HE shell damage, which is pretty immense. Capture that area. Roger. Protect that area. So they are, our allies are starting to come this way. That's going to help All stations, proceed to for the hunt for the destroyer. Looks like he's over here somewhere. Both the Nelson and the Rodney, uh, they are real ships. They they serve their country well. Um, they uh, mostly shore bombardment, um, naval gunfire support at the at the, um, both of them would, would provide naval gunfire support uh, for the invasion of Sicily. 
uh, for the invasion of mainland Italy and for the D-Day invasion in Normandy. Rodney, um, though, would also play a part in the Battle of the Denmark Strait. Um, the, this is the famous battle between uh, the Mighty Hood and the Bismarck. Uh, Nelson was fleet flagship most of the time after she was commissioned. She was kind of believed, at least by the Briton, to be the most powerful of her of her uh, battleships, <clears throat> and that is, in in some cases, uh, that is true. Those 16-inch guns are are indeed uh, potentially more powerful than 15-inch guns. There we go. I think he's going to expose himself. H E this bitch. Oh, it's in Atlanta over there. Unique. So we'll get him. Yeah, there we go. Enemy cruiser sunk. I really don't want him to set me on fire, but it's too late. The ship is on fire. We do have the H E loaded, and um, I'll probably keep it that way because there is a destroyer out there, and there is the Nelson. You know, this is a fire starter, so uh, either way, whether I'm fighting Nelson or the other, um, or the destroyer, I'll be in good hands. Problem solved, sir. I just need my friends to uh, kind of get a little closer over here with me. I don't think we have a cruiser. I think we just got all these destroyers. So I'm going to try to get back with them, not become the lone target for that destroyer. I'm not too concerned about Nelson, though. We'll play another match with this, don't worry. Um, hopefully a better one. We kind of got left out in the cold here uh, in terms of, you know, we weren't in the middle of the fight for much of the battle. So we didn't have great damage potential or anything because of that. There he is. Try to get off the shot on him. Because I'm one bad. All yes! Boom! The and battle is ended. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Let's go again, shall we? Um, but you can, you know, you can do a fire starter build with. Um, well, let me just show you what a fire starter build would look like, because I have Jellico built for one. With with Jellico, um, the the chance to set fire will be 48 percent, with um, a max HE shell damage of 7,107. Right, but you do take a uh, you're going to lose a kilometer in in gun range, and you're going to lose uh, around 1,300 uh, AP shell damage by doing that so that is a thing and most of you are going to be using Cunningham anyway so I'm going to play as him I realize very few people play as Madden which I, I think is a mistake but um, not for this ship I think I think this ship um, probably is better with with um, with Cunningham because her range is reduced around 14.4 uh, kilometer gun range with Madden and that's just Frankly, it's just unacceptable for this this particular ship. With other ships, the less range isn't such a big deal, but for this one, it is. Especially if you want to play as a fire starter. Trap. Very nice. Oh, this is a fucking trap, isn't it? Look at this. This is one of the newer maps. We've got three enemy destroyers we're facing, two cruisers, and the rest battleships. We have I have run into a lot of other Nelsons, so this is a ship that people have been purchasing. I think primarily because she's a Royal Navy battleship, and it's about bloody time we got another uh, Royal Navy premium.
So remember Nelson's sweet spot when facing it up against another battleship. Remember, it's not here, it's not here. It's right about angle to about this. Okay? This is your angle. Uh, pretend the ship we're, we're going up against, the enemy battleship is right where my uh, cursor is. That's the angling you want when facing off against um, going on a mono e mono with another battleship. I'm keeping HE loaded because I want to show you her fire starter capabilities. Um, because that is definitely a thing with this ship. Thank you. If you um, if you didn't want to grind the British line to get KGB, which is which is the best fire starter in the game, um, then purchasing Nelson is an, uh, another alternative to that. To uh, getting another fire starter in your repertoire, because I'm sure you have Atlanta or, uh, or DeGrassi or something, but. But KGB and Nelson really are just the best fire starters in this game for that. Uh, any fire challenge I do, I go with I go with KGB. But um, Nelson, now I can start going with Nelson for these types of things too. I got two options, so I'll get those fire missions done even faster. Because I'll play a game with Nelson, and then once I sit, get sunk with her, then I'll just go right to KGB, and we'll keep it going until we get it done. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to say about the ship. Um, she does have high HE shell damage, so she is going to be good at fighting destroyers. The ship is on fire. Oh, you're slowing down. That is that Agarasi. Let's uh, hope he's not doing a fire challenge. Oh, he is. He is going for the fire. It's not what we want. So we got one fire started already. He's got two fires on me, so I'm gonna go ahead and two is my kind of my marker for when I uh, I'm gonna hit the, the the repair party for damage control. Oh, <laughs> oh, did you see that? Man, that sucks. But, uh, remember what I told you was staying with the fleet? Look what I've done. I have moved forward. My other battleship is way behind me. I have become the center of attention. That is the big no-no with Nelson. That's how you get blown up fast. You gotta stay out of the fight. Keep, keep to the sidelines and fight, fight from the side. Um, because that's, that's just how you survive with, with only 59,000 hit points. So I don't have a choice. These fires are never gonna go out on their own. Um, so I'm just gonna use my first super heal. There's the gate. Maybe I can hit it. Yes! No. Somebody else got him. That's okay. What's sad is, you know, I went 10 games doing over 100,000 damage in a row. <laughs> and, um, I have two games that are... The two games I'm showing for you aren't particularly good ones in Nelson. Um, which is sad. So we've got a minute until our next, or until our heal comes up. I definitely do want to use that as soon as it's available. I don't want to expose myself to those battleships right now. I'd rather just deal with the Grasse and uh, limit the amount of damage I take for the next, you know, 35 seconds so I can heal that. And then I'm gonna pop up uh, and, and try to take on Fuso and friends. I'm gonna try to angle it so that only Fuso can fire at me. Get ready for the fires. They are coming. There we go. Now, see where I'm angled at to him? I'm not the focus of the fire right now, so I really have to do it. Poor Sharnhorst just run into a trap. I don't, I don't know that he knew what was coming to him, but...
XP for Fuso. Stone the crows. So remember his or how to angle our armor. Get it to route right where the third turret's exposed. Here comes the guns. And we receive very little damage from it, as you can tell. That is the perfect angling for the Nelson. Shit. Go in reverse. We don't want to be exposed. I want to fight one battleship at a time, not two. And we got ourselves in range of the other Nelson. That does become a problem when you, when you are, that's going to be Nelson's big drawback is when you're facing more than one battleship at a time. If somebody has flanked you, um, if you're fighting somebody forward and then there's somebody starboard, they're going to be able to hit your weak zones. And that's a problem. Like right there, the other Nelson is able to get to us. Fuso's not because I have him angled perfectly. But um, the other Nelson can hit our weak spots because our ship is one giant weak spot. Pretty much we have that one strong point where we angle ourselves like that, and that's that's gonna be it. All right, Fuso. Uh, he ca caught him at a weird moment. And then I'm gonna try to take on the other Nelson once I sink this bad boy. Or maybe I sh there is a Miyoko out there. Maybe I should take him on. Now, I am a little out of angle here. For my bow armor. Again, it's 25 millimeter bow armor. You do not want that exposed. The ship is on fire. Well, I just about sunk him. I think that destroyer will be able to finish him off with, with AG shells or AP. Uh-oh, King George. This is not what we wanted. Come on, buddy. Fire. Oh, and we stunned. So right around 80,000 damage. Um, this ship is a massive challenge. It, it's you're it's you're gonna have to play with it for a while before you get the hang of it. Um, and that is its thing. You know, a lot of people when they want to get a premium, when they're dropping that money, they want a ship that's overpowered. They want it to be awesome, all that stuff like that. They want low skill level required, and, and that's what they want. Um, that's not the case with Nelson, and that is its down downfall. It's a ship you got to put time into to learn. Um, when we look at the Nassau, we're looking at a ship that does significantly less damage than. So we're just looking at her peers. She's going to do, be able to do significantly less damage than Nelson. Um, and she has less hit points, so that is a plus for, for Nelson. Let's look at the lion. She has less hit points, too. And far weaker guns, so... Let's look at Nagato. So, I, I'd say Nelson's guns are actually still better than Nagato because she has a shorter reload and she has the HE thing going for her. Let's see America here with the Colorado. I'd still say Nelson is better. And she has way better hit Nelson has way better hit points. So, um... This ship is at two stars, right? That's what I rated, and that's true. But if you can master it, if you can get the hang of the ship, um, she goes from two stars to five stars, right? She goes from a D all the way to an A grade um, if you can learn to master. Again, her big weakness is, is that you have to angle the ship. And so um, towards the enemy you're fighting, that becomes a massive problem though, and this is her big drawback, if 
you are flanked. If you're having to engage enemies from more than one direction, they can blow you sky high and just send you right to the bottom um, to Davy Jones' locker if you're not careful. So um, engaging warships from multiple different sectors, or battleships anyway, is a massive problem with Nelson. Um, but that's going to be her big weakness. So, yeah, a, a four or five stars out of out of five um, for Nelson because of she is a tier six, but she does have that one glaring weakness um, that you absolutely have to keep in mind. Um, an angler, like I told you to, because her armor is definitely a problem. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, and uh, thank you for watching. If I steered you clear of uh, purchasing Nelson in the last video, uh, or if you bought Nelson, and this is important, if you already bought the Nelson and you're disappointed by it, uh, please watch this video. And if you need to watch it more than once, have at it. Um, because this is going to get it to where it's a usable ship. It's just figuring out the secrets of the vessel um, in order to play, in, in order to really enjoy her. It's just figuring out her secrets because she does have, she does have those. All right. Um, thanks for watching, guys.